Teacher Made channel where everything is made by a teacher. Today, we're going to do a small activity that can be done at home with your kids, or you can use this activity at school. Um, as you know, I'm a special education teacher, so I work with children with disabilities. So this is a fun activity that you can do at home or at school. It's very simple and all you need is some index cards, a Sharpie or a pen, and I have some of my little Unifix cubes. Or you can just have anything that's counting objects. So today is just a little simple math lesson and this is just helping children with counting and making that one-to-one -one correspondence. So what I'm going to do first is I counted out 10 note cards and what you're going to do is you're going to take your Sharpie or pen or whatever you may have and you're going to put a one dot on one of them and make sure that it's large enough so that the child or the student can see it. So I'm going to put one dot on here and you're going to keep going until you get all the way up until 10 and I use this in my classroom when I first started teaching special education because I was working with children with you know and that range from autism ADHD and children who were ID mild and for people who don't know what ID mild stands for it's for children who have low intellectual and functioning skills and they have a hard time retaining information um, and I specifically use this for one of my students who was ID mild because she had trouble remembering the numbers one through 10. So we would do this activity every day at the school. And this will just help her with her number recognition and then remembering the numbers one through 10. So we did this for about a week. And then after that, she caught on to her numbers. And then the way that I would reinforce her learning is that I would, at the end of her session in my room, I would have her repeat back the numbers to me. Um, one out of order. And then I would have her I'll have her do one out of order and then I'll have her do this activity. So every day when she came back into the classroom, she would have to do this activity. So like I said, this is something that's very simple. And just give me a few minutes to finish up you guys and then I will show you. And don't forget to click the like, share and subscribe button because like I said, we're at home during quarantine and I know it's very hard for parents to buy supplies but this is something like I said that you can do that is very simple at home something that is very simple at home for for your child or your student or whoever you are who you are working with at home and sometimes you y'all y'all just got to get creative like like this concept like when I first came into the classroom I found it in a box so the teacher before me had had already had this so I just I just used it all right so like I said so say you have the index card three and you have four so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have the child or student or whoever, you're gonna have them come in place. They're, they're gonna take the Unifix cubes and just place them on top of the dots. So one, two, three, four. And then the same way with the three, one, two, Three. So like I so, said, this helps with corresponding counting. So one, two, three, four. And it also, actually you can use it for addition too. Maybe if you were to put a, you know, an addition sign right here or a subtraction sign, you can actually turn it into a math problem. 
Or you can just do it simply this way and just have the student or your child just practice putting the numbers over, putting over the dot. Like, like I said, this is very simple, y'all. Like just, just get creative at home. Just think of many ways that you can teach your child at home or student in the classroom. So this is the activity that I had used for my student. Like I said, something that's very simple. And then you can also add the number down at the bottom so they can also see the number and recognize the number the next time that they see it. And this is something that can be done anywhere on the go. Um, when I'm tutoring my students, I take this with me to help with to help them with their numbers and just yeah and this is very simple so if you like this video don't forget to click the like and share and subscribe button and also please share this video with other people at home who are working with the children who will homeschool their children this fall and this school year thank you